What's going on, guys? Fully here with Custom Office at Custom Office here on YouTube. And we got Dustin, we got an episode of this or that. You guys asked us questions on the last couple of videos we posted. Now we're gonna answer them. Let's do it. Third gen Cummins or 2005 Duramax? 2005 Duramax. I'm the YouTube lady. What? Have you seen that? No. All right, <laughs> just me then. Sorry. That's it, 05 Duramax. Oh, all right. Yeah. I didn't know if you were gonna no. like reason with that I mean, it's or I think they're good looking trucks. Love the cat eye. Yeah. The uh, 03 to 06, 07 classic. Uh, it's just a, I don't know, it's a good looking truck. Yeah, I'm going A lot on. of people like them for power as well. Really? Mod modified, you can put down some power. Obviously, in the Cummins, you can do the same thing. They can argue in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> Which one is better? No, I agree. I like the cat eyes as well, especially if you get it in that burgundy color, that like deep red, mm -hmm. and then you get it with the ZF6 manual. Oh, oh. was that an option? I don't yes, know if that's it an, was option. an option. That's yep. pretty slick. They're very limited production, but you can definitely get them. That's so. cool. They're Crew beautiful. cab, long bed, Duramax, manual. I mean, I would be all, when you got like a- Big shift. Eaton Fuller in there. Well, kind of, but yeah, okay. six speeds, not 18. <laughs> Just don't judge me. 2019 Ram 2500 or 2019 Ford F250? F250 for me. I love the uh, the body lines. And we just talked about this in an episode of uh, From the Gallery. Yep. The headlights are the bomb.com. As long as you get, you know, whatever package you need to get the LED with the bars. Yeah, the you can buy aftermarket ones too. Morimoto makes some awesome headlights for those trucks. I don't know, I just like the big blocky square front end that says, get out of my way. Yeah, it's a very Ford move. I'm gonna go the other side of this one. I'm, I'm going Ram. I didn't, as we discussed prior in the other episode, yeah. I wasn't a big Ram guy. I was never a Dodge guy. And then Ram came out with their new trucks and they look so good. Yeah. The new ones definitely look way better than before. Uh, and not just because it's new, you know, but like comparing new to new in 05, comparing yeah. new to new in 11, comparing new to new in 19, they finally, I think, are they they're they're making up. it up there on the list. Yeah, I agree. And the interior quality has improved significantly. That was my biggest gripe with them for the long time was like just plasticky everything. Yep. But they fixed that now. Leather interior, yes or no? Absolutely. Yeah, I love leather. I have leather in two of my last three vehicles. Heated leather is even better. <clears throat> Heated and vented leather is the best. Yes, I see, I agree. And it used to be, if you wanted heated seats, you could only get it in the leather option vehicles. But now, like in Jared's little beater car, he's got heated seats and cloth. Fun I, fact. I didn't you, know you could do that. The GTIs, because I have a GTI, the GTIs, you can only get heated seats in the cloth. The leather comes not Blows my heated, mind. It just didn't so seem, it didn't seem safe to make cloth hot. You but, don't worry about that. But, just heat them up, it's fine. I, I guess I'm still torn on this one because I love leather and the fact that it cleans up really well. I have a dog, so whatever. She's got muddy uh, paws. I just let her run all over on the inside and it's fine because I just spray it down and wipe it off and it cleans up really well. Cloth is a pain in the ass to clean. You know, like, like shampoo it, it or, or yeah. steam it. Yeah, do all of that stuff. Uh, so for me, leather, I think, works better. But at the same time, leather doesn't wear very nice either. True, unless you're taking care of it, keeping it up. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna pick leather, as long as you take care of it. New Tacoma on six inch lift with 12 wides, or new Tacoma on three inches with 10 wides? Neither. <laughs> Why? The Fuller <laughs> wants 17 by nines on new Tacoma. Let's the answer real. is Icon, stage 10 kit on a Tacoma uh, with, yeah. 17 by eight and a half. They have 10 stages. I know it sounds they have crazy. A stage 10 yeah. lift. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they offer it for the Tacoma, but you can get up to a stage sure. 10 in Icon for different vehicles. Sure. I don't own a Tacoma, but if I did. So your answer is neither? Yes, my answer is neither. Six inch, 12 lights. Let's do it. I don't do a ton of off roading, <laughs> so. You might as well, well, make might it as well look ball out. Good, you know? Yeah. Not that 10 wides are a bad thing. You know, and they only said Tacoma, they didn't specify. Is this a SR5, is this a TRD Pro, TRD, TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, TRD 4x4? There's a lot of options, a lot of options. Limited, does it make a limited Tacoma? I don't know. I have no idea. But you said it confidently, so people are gonna believe you. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, it looks like we're just flying over there now. Uh, go ahead and uh, man the guns. That's like gorilla flying. <laughs> no, it's just a helicopter. No, it's the helicopter noise, because it's the <laughs> 04Z71 lifted Suburban or 2020 lifted Suburban? 
2020 lived in Suburban. Hmm. Newer, nicer interior. Better lighting, packages. I don't know, the Blue new tube. ones look pretty, pretty sweet, yeah. I mean, it's because all the creature comforts. It really is. Uh, the older ones too, 04, I think the year was. The, the Suburban didn't get the update that the Silverado's got, so it still has the 99 to 02 round. Oh, the, like the pulled bit, yeah. The round didn't headlights. Go to, like, the cat eye. Yeah, it didn't have the cat eye headlights. Some people have done swaps, which look pretty cool. Um, I was going to say, imagine a cat eye Suburban. Yeah, yeah, people done it. Uh, one of the guys we know actually did it to his Tahoe. We have a whole video on it, so we can use footage of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess for that reason, I would pick the 2020, because if you have an 04, it's gonna look very similar to a 99, and then you look like you have a vehicle that is now 20, Stop 20 it. years old. Stop it. We're old, Dustin. Yes, we are. I mean, we're not, but we are. We are. Yikes. Old Raptor or new Raptor? Ooh. So first gen versus second gen. Yeah, God, this is such... I'm very interested to see how you answer this question. I don't really have an answer, and I get asked this question a lot because when the second generation Raptor first came out, 3.5 EcoBoost, I was, I was angry. I couldn't believe they put a V6 in the Raptor. The Raptor needs a 6.2 liter. Because I guess we should, we should cover that too. The first gen Raptor, initially, when it launched, uh, you could get it with the 5.4 liter in the regular cab ones. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the 6.2 liter V8 versus 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. With the supercharger, right? The six twin turbo. No, the 6.2s were? Mm -mm. Those naturally aspirated. Oh, I thought those were supercharged. Raw power. America. So, yeah, uh, I think the interior is better on the new one. I think the exterior looks better on the new one. It comes with better suspension. Uh, Ford has factory upgrade options to like the Fox Racing Series shocks, not just the regular Fox shocks. I just took one out a couple weekends ago and jumped one like <laughs> five, six times. Do you have footage? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a very big jump. I'm just going to throw a disclaimer out there. I wasn't actually driving. I was coaching someone else who, who has the vehicle and trying to convince them, go, 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 go. Um, but that trip also then did convince me that I don't need the 6.2 because the 3.5 does make plenty of power. It sounds a little funky, but you kind of get used to it and then you kind of start to like it. Sound, yeah. it's, like a, it's like a growl. It's just not, you know, you think a twin turbo V6, you think sports car, GTR. You think what? Right, you know, yeah. but it doesn't quite do that. It's it's a different noise. I'm not going to try to make it on camera because <laughs> I'm going to end up in a meme somewhere. But Fine. what about you? So is that what you never answered the question? The Which new direction? one. The okay, new one. All right. Yeah. I am also going the new one. Um, I like the first one, but the new ones look so much better. The interior is so much better. The suspension is so much better. Yep. And I like EcoBoost technology. I think it's cool. Somebody said it out loud. I, I think it's awesome stuff. Yeah, it is. It puts the, the truck puts on 500 horsepower out of the factory. Why would you not, you know? Right, simple tune, bolt-ons. You can really push some power out of there. Yep, exactly. And 14 inches of suspension travel in the rear. What more could you want? Custom wrap or custom paint with unique color? Who's paying for it? Yes, that's uh, the question. It's free. Daddy is. Oh, it's free? Dad's paying for it? Thanks, Pops. Paint. Paint looks better than wraps. Changed my mind. Uh, no, but I actually I'd probably go with a wrap because I like the changeability. Is that a word? Yes. Probably. Yes. Because if this year you want a, a retro theme, if next year you want a whatever that is, camo 90s. and 90s, yeah. and then the year after that you want a solid color, and the year after that you want racing stripes, I don't know, I'm just pulling stuff out of my rear here. So, <laughs> I don't know, I like that you can change it up. So, I was like trying not to swear and then remembered we could just bleep it out anyway. Yeah, Pulling true. shit out of my ass. <laughs> so, if I'm not paying for it, I would go super high quality paint and yeah. have it done right. Yeah. And then you can always wrap over the top of it anyway. You could. You know. Would get kind of skeptical, also depends on the year of the vehicle too. You got something that early 2000s, when you wrap it, know that you might be pulling some clear coat off when you take it off. Are you gonna wrap it again? Then it doesn't necessarily matter uh, that much. It matters a little that. bit, it matters a little bit. But you, if you, know, if you don't care about the paint. Yeah. Like we wrapped Nathan's Mustang roof and we peeled it and re-wrapped re it. And yeah. when we peeled it, there's like giant chunks of clear coat just right. gone. Just yeah, <laughs> yep, gotta be careful with that. If it's a new vehicle, wouldn't be as worried as much. Yeah, I would agree. Bonus. Bonus question <clears throat> is my favorite. 
appetizer and entree or entree and dessert? How hungry am I? <laughs> Growing up, uh, anytime my parents took us out to eat, which is not all that often, we never, you do not order appetizers, you get water, and we are not ordering dessert. That's how it was. So for the longest time, I mean, that didn't, it didn't bother me at all. It's just how I grew up. So every time I went out to eat, it was the same thing. Then I started going out to eat with other people and they order appetizers, they get a soda, and then they get an entree, and sometimes they get like some fancy side, and then they get dessert too. And I was like, oh, you get, get all of that? Sometimes yeah, and then you kind of, yeah, supper club, welcome yeah. to Wisconsin. Um, but if I have to pick, I would probably go with appetizer and entree because the appetizer you get right away and usually I want to eat. Yeah, I'm, I do the same thing. I am almost never order dessert. Because by the time I get done, I order an appetizer, and then I order my entree, and then you get done eating, and you're like, I am stuffed. Yeah, and exactly. And there's no room for dessert. Plus, as some of you remember, back in the old days, if you're one of our early subscribers, you remember I used to be skinny, but now I am fat. Therefore, I shouldn't eat dessert. Subscribe at youtube.com forward slash custom offsets TV. That's the end of the video. Peace. At what? Yeah. We're really ending that? Oh, yeah, like we that? went there. We did that. Wow. I mean, it's true. I gained like 30 pounds since I started working here. That's because they feed us. It's all your fault. Here. You. No, just kidding. It doesn't, it doesn't really, it's not your fault. It's Hello. mostly the tacos and yeah. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell, were you here? here? I'm gonna I'm gonna go get my uh, helicopter pilot's license. Really? Yeah. Yes. Is that expensive? Yes. Not that expensive as compared to like private pilot. How many hours do you have to do? 40. That's it? Floor's just trying to be like Dude, that's flying that around. We were discussing that yesterday, how scary it is. You can drive a helicopter. Oh, you gotta rent a helicopter? Or like, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna buy one. Yeah. Unless you rent one. No, it's like two, it's it. like 200 bucks an hour. I'd go on it. So like me, scared, you, though. Dustin. I'd be so sweaty, be like, dude. Do you wanna go get pizza in Chicago? That's fucked up. That's like giving me goosebumps. The thing about. is, they're not that fast though. No, no. Like, like 100, 120. But it's like, there's no one there. So right. Just, so it's a straight line. Yeah. Like Chicago in about an hour, uh -huh. hour and a half probably. Because it's... I don't know, we made it from Sheboygan to Green Bay in like 20 minutes. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you don't have to like, yeah. you know, you just mm -hmm. up, across, down. That's true. All right. Oh, you're talking in a, in a chopper. I thought yeah, you yeah, yeah. in your car. No, I was like, no, no, holy no. cow, you were moving. Oh.